talk, talk about, I think, I think perhaps, I mean, when I, when I did my article with Amy, um, mm -hmm. um, last month in August, mm -hmm. we didn't really, we talked, we talked about her being a mother, mm -hmm. but we didn't talk about her being, her responsibilities as a mother and her kids, we talked about mm -hmm. how art affects Related her as a mother, but, mm -hmm. so we don't have to talk about details, but, but 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 more more specifically, as if your art does relate to how you know your uh, your 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 responsibilities as a father. But, mm -hmm. so. Well, I guess maybe I'll start with when I decided that I was okay being an artist because mm -hmm. at some point you know you at least for me it was am I really you have to question am I really an artist am I doing is it is it is it <laughs> yeah well, good you know it. You know, for me, it's always like you have to all, almost um, worry that are you good enough as an artist to call yourself an artist, you know? Um, and some people, don't, I guess, don't worry about that, but I, I think I might have, even though I know I was trained as an artist and, and um, everyone always, you know, called me an artist. I personally didn't know, you know, if I was pretending to be an artist or not, you know? And, mm -hmm. and what's curious is that so many people will think that, or they'll say that when you start teaching, you're not doing real art anymore. You're just like, oh, you've sold out, you're teaching to make your income, and, and so your, art, your artistic practice will suffer. And I actually, there was a point when I realized, oh my gosh, my art is about pedagogy. It's about learning and teaching and mm -hmm. perception and knowledge mm -hmm. and truth. Mm -hmm. and, and so... I, so once I started embracing that, my I think my art got much better, and so did my teaching. So when I realized that mm -hmm. those were intertwined in ways that I couldn't separate, and if I did, it would become um, something less than, mm -hmm. like either one of those things when they right. met together. Right. So for me, um, teaching is very intertwined with, with my artistic practice. So mm -hmm. before, our, our, my artistic practice was, you know, am I getting in the, this show or that show? Am I going to be able to sell my work? In? Am I going to be able to ha be in this gallery? And, that, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, the, the teaching actually liberates you from that. You know, I didn't have to worry about those kinds of things, you know? And so I used art um, to inquire around issues that I was interested in. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, the inter and the ideas that I was interested in were perception and uh, how do we learn and mm -hmm. you know how do we learn collectively and independently and mm -hmm. so I could I'd still engage with those kind of issues and so right. that work that you had um, that I wrote about uh, that artographic work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that what saved me was I think a real nice body of work that I'm still interested in mm -hmm. um, that really shows how an artist I believe an artist is always on like that's your job 24 7 mm -hmm. And um, as I teach teachers who are who, who are going to be art teachers, or who I, if I'm working with um, art students, I I think that's important to have them understand that that everything you do your whole entire life is fodder for your art. It's mm -hmm. it's not like you go into your office and you all of a sudden are creative and you have to produce you know mm -hmm. something. Up for me, mm -hmm. it's for me, mm -hmm. it's all the time. Mm -hmm. So. You know, mm -hmm. you can look at the color differences between these two T's mm -hmm. and use that to inspire your work. You know, mm -hmm. why would you not? not yet, yeah. You know? Yeah. Why and lose so, the opportunity? Yeah why, yeah, why would you miss that? And so, um, so that particular work is, you know, I would go have a, um, a meal and I would get a Chinese fortune cookie, you know, and then inside would be a fortune. And, and, I, and some of those are so silly and they're so, ma you know, they're very mass produced mm -hmm. and yet they still sometimes resonate on an individual level because uh -huh. we are meaning-making machines, you know? We, yeah. we try to, to make meaning. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why some people are so interested in, like, tarot cards or in meditation or mm -hmm. whatever, you know? I think, mm -hmm. I think it, it's a time to reflect and you make meaning where meaning sometimes needs to occur, right? Mm -hmm. so, so for those fortune cookies, that's what those were to me I wanted to I wanted to play with those kinds of meanings mm -hmm. and so I would I started juxtaposing it with just everyday objects that I found important in my life that seemed meaningless mm -hmm. you know like my my um, set of keys you know mm -hmm. or um, my cell phone or mm -hmm. um, a plant from the garden you know so mm -hmm. I would just engage um, with these objects and put the the 
traditional print texts from mm -hmm. those fortune cookies and put those together to create absolutely totally new meanings. Mm -hmm. All of which, when I put those together, make my life more meaningful. And I realize, oh yeah, I I'm okay. I'm okay. You know, right, I'm okay right. to exist. You know, and, Great, I, absolutely. And, and this is a wonderful life. Great. So for me, those those I think are um, attempts to yeah make, find meaning and then through meaning be able to justify my own existence. Mm. You know. Yeah. Is is this is this is this this project is 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 on is ongoing? Yeah. Is happening. Yeah. So okay. I okay. so it, yeah, and I you know I take breaks from yes. it. So um, not on purpose, mm -hmm. but just yeah. Like yeah. if I encounter some kind of yeah. print text or some kind of objects um, so, object, then I, I juxtapose those together and I stitch those out when I um, so, have the time. So I guess but let's, before we get to that, let's talk, oh. let's talk more about your this idea. That's I think I think that's I, I've never heard uh, um, I've never come across an art an art an art an art teacher or mm -hmm. professor or an, or um, anyone who works in education. Have have that kind of um, perspective mm -hmm. of of um, art, the ident the ident uh, 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 the identity of, of, of the artist being their 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 you know what 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 comes first, um, and I don't think and not, I don't necessarily think anything does have to come first, mm -hmm. but the idea that. Recognizing that if recognizing that if you are going to teach art and if you are going to make art for a body of students and if you are going to represent that, um, that's who you are. You are an artist, and it's not something you can switch on. It's not something you can be on the weekends. Right. So how can you? How can you? How can you not spend spend your time? Con always no, no, noticing things as an artist does. Right. How can you not spend spend your 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 energies um, focusing on those? I agree. And yet truths of do. life that right. lead you towards right. newer new truths. Exactly. And that's to me that's novel. To me, I have not, I have not heard that. But, but for me, it's, but, but it doesn't make total sense. You know, it's it like, makes total sense. So so it's not art. Art making is not. Knowing it particularly, like oh, I know how to you know um, cross hatch really well. You know uh -huh. these little rote kind of assignments we give our students and we call right. it art. Well, it's not really art, really. It's, right, it's, that's it's just a technique. It's or, a technique, yeah, and, yeah. and really that investigation about how do you engage with the world uh -huh. really should be a foundational skill that we teach, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and likewise, I don't think, that, and this uh -huh. is why I think that art making and Pedagogy mm -hmm. are distinct. I think they're different, but at the same time, they are very interrelated. Uh -huh. And um, uh, it's almost like saying, "How can I not be learning or teaching regularly?" I mean, mm -hmm. in our interactions, we're constantly there's a negotiation of, "Oh, I'm trying to understand, and I'm learning, and I'm mm -hmm. also trying to um, relate and transform." Right? We're yeah. trying to be understood as well. So yeah. there's always this relationship of. Of learning and teaching uh -huh. um, that goes on in everyday kind of life. And, Absolutely. And sometimes Absolutely. we right, and Absolutely. we sometimes think that we, to we be a teacher. We do that in our relationships. Yeah, right. We do that in our relationships. And we forget. Absolutely. Teaching not necessarily an official. Yeah, not standing, didactic. Not, yeah. not, 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 not mm -hmm. standing behind a platform, but mm -hmm. teaching each other. Right. The, the related, the relating right. teaching. Yeah. And I wish yeah. all. And I wish a lot of teaching mm. were more like that, where we just yeah. would have conversation and dialogue. Yeah. yeah. You know that. Yeah. You come with something, I come with something, and yeah. through that exchange, we create something new. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think art is very similar mm -hmm. like, to me for that reason. For, for, and, and so much of the um, art experience for the the student is going is is something that can't be taught. Yeah. You know, it's something that, mm -hmm. and I, I know you understand as as a. a, a you know, as you decided decided mm -hmm. that you were qualified as an artist, mm -hmm. and I I know is something that I understand. I'm truly truly a writer. Yeah, something that's involved in that um, assertion is knowing that I, I I there's something beyond the the um the tangible or the or the or, or the formal. Yeah, the 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 beyond the the the, the, the 
beyond beyond what can be taught in a classroom that yeah. that student must experience for themselves right. before they can call themselves an artist or yeah, and I before wonder about I can that, call you know, myself an, a, writer a writer. Or whatever. I have to truly live. And and mm -hmm. you can teach you can teach form and you can teach technique and you can teach. Um, acad mm -hmm. uh, academics, but, but that comes through that living, right? Yeah. So it's not yeah, like, yeah. oh, as soon as you gain these skills, then you'll be a writer or an right, artist or right. whatever. It's without you, without the living, you have to own it, right? Yeah. And, and you know, there's like, um, I think it was James Elkins that wrote mm -hmm. that book, um, "Why Art Can't Be Taught." Mm -hmm. But his punchline is, yeah, it can't. It may not be able to be taught, but mm -hmm. it's worth trying. Like yeah. you learn something in the yeah. trying, and and it I, is worth in trying. that engagement, that engagement is mm -hmm. what. Will it will be worth it? You yeah. know, and yeah. so it's even though it can't be taught. Right. As you start to engage with yeah. it, you you either will realize that it's wonderful or you won't. Right. You, and and I see, I see I see certain artists. Um, and, and, and I've been doing this, what I've been doing for eight years, and I've seen artists that um, I, 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 I I I I I oh I kind of assumed that I would just be. Um, connected to for the next forever mm -hmm. how long I was doing I was doing because mm -hmm. they were so good mm -hmm. at the, what they were doing mm -hmm. and I just, they would always be around mm -hmm. but I can think of countless names of artists that were so good and so mm -hmm. hot what mm -hmm. they were doing right. and now they're old they're mr they're, they're mm -hmm. old they're ghosts they're gone mm -hmm. You know, I doing mean, what, what, else, what, they've given up. I mean, mm -hmm. they just lost. They lost the drive. That's they so lost, interesting to me. They lost. They lost the ambition. They mm -hmm. lost. There's only. I mean, there's 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 more left. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, there's less left than mm -hmm. there are that le left. Yeah, that's a, that's curious. Um, I you know every once in a while I get really frustrated with mm -hmm. discourses of art, mm -hmm. and I think um, I think um. I really do think art is not a body of knowledge. It really is like a, a social practice. It's a conversation that we create, you know, culturally. Okay. And sometimes that that conversation or that discourse is annoying. Uh -huh. And it and it, and it I'm, I want to separate myself from some of those discourses because uh -huh. with all with all that big kind of conversation that's going on, sometimes I only hear one little conversation and it just yeah. it bugs. It right? does. You're like, I'm you so do hear the over same that. conversation. And I'm like so over that. But then it's I'm, limiting. Right. Yeah. And sometimes and, and you know sometimes you're just like I'm disgusted with the whole thing mm -hmm. and yet you forget like that was just a part of it. Uh -huh. And um and if you've disassociated yourself at that time then you made that conversation the whole thing. And what I've done is like Sometimes I just wait a little bit, you know, uh -huh. and you're and you're able to connect with another conversation that totally, right. you know, reanimates you. And even in teaching, that's happened right, to me, right. where you know, right, this right. one, I have this paradigm shift of what a teacher is, and yeah. I'm like, whoa, yeah. no way, I, it's just this metaphorical shift, yeah. like a teacher, you know. Oh my gosh! What yeah. I was doing before is a transfer of knowledge. I don't like that. It's horrible, you know. And then yeah. it becomes this emancipator. But then, oh, if I'm an emancipator, then everything is like so depressing, and uh -huh. that's I don't want to do that. And then I shift uh -huh. maybe to, oh my gosh, you know, art is a way of knowing and engaging with the world. That so reanimates me, and right. and that's kind of the space where I'm in right now, where uh -huh. art to me is a set of methodologies, but idiosyncratic methodology. Okay. Every artist has a way of uh -huh. knowing and understanding which is different from like a scientific method or right, right, a right. spiritual method to right, right. access heaven or a uh, deity or whatever. It's right. Artists are curious because they create their own methodology uh -huh. to inquire and engage with the world uh -huh. and that's what I find so fascinating. So people, some artists are very, you know, oh, we don't want to learn a methodology and I kind of agree but at the same time,